so it's your girl April and today's video is going to be two different things that I want to mention to you so of course I'm still rocking my kinky stray hair which is in a color number 10 from Nubian Bar and I will tell you girls this I absolutely love this hair like I put it back on today after not wearing it for like a week because I wore a synthetic wig because I really did like it and yes this wig just gives me total life like I love it for those who have been asking what do I put on it to stop the shedding or to help the shedding or, de or tangling? I really don't put anything on it. I've never put anything on this unit at all since I've gotten it except for wash and condition it. But I will tell you this. A lot of times when you get a wig and it sh it napes, um, it tangles in the nape area mostly. All of them do because it's rubbing against your clothing, your neck, what have you. I have noticed like some of my wigs in the nape area get so tangled to it's like, oh my god. <sighs> it's like a lot of work not a lot of work but it's just really tangled with this one it gets tangled but you don't even have to brush it you just slip your fingers through it and the tangles come right out so I'm not really sure what they did to this hair but when it tangles it doesn't really tangle so I don't even have to brush the tangles out I could just run my fingers through it and it comes out as for keeping it moisturized or anything like that, I haven't put anything on it. You know what I mean? I have not put anything on it, especially like no oil or anything like that because it's not growing out of my scalp, so it's not going to be dry. I do, when I wash it, I do deep condition it, and I put like a heat treatment serum like uh, Cream of Nature's Moroccan Oil. I'll put like that on it, but other than that, I don't put any products on it unless I'm using like hairspray or something like that. But for the most part, I do absolutely love this hair. Like it is gorgeous. So yes, it is in a color tint, a tint number 10. But besides that, they have other colors as well. But this one just really spoke to me. It just goes so well with my complexion and I love it. I just absolutely love it. So I do wear it braided on the side a lot because it's super hot out here. And I just don't like all the hair on my face. So I do wear it like that. I have yet to flat iron it, which I will be doing for my um, update review. I will be putting some curls in this baby. But she is like absolutely gorgeous. Like I get a lot of compliments on the hair, um, especially with the color. So, yes, you can check out Nubian Bar. I will post the information below. So, if you see, um, and as you girls know, some of you who follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook, that I am a huge Walking Dead fan since season one. And I probably watch each season at least 10 to 15 times. So, if you would ever sit there and watch it with me, you might as well just leave the room because I know word for word, I am like a humongous fan. So I did come through a few weeks ago with a shirt that was sent to me through AMC um, with Daryl on the front, which is one of my faves. But this time around, I got something different, and it actually wasn't from AMC. This is a shirt that I actually created myself. I was able to create this shirt by using Drop. Um, by using dropshippingcustom.com where you can create your own creations shirts with hoodies long sleeves pants they have loads of stuff and their prices are so just affordable super duper affordable so they hit me up and asked me what I do a review and to create a shirt um, they gave me a coupon code for 25 bucks the shirt was like $14 total everything was probably like 21 22 bucks and it came so fast like super fast it is international but it came really really fast so what I did and this when you feel this shirt normally when you see shirts like this you do feel like the plastic kind of like like you feel like it could peel off with this one it doesn't have that feeling it's actually embedded in the actual material which is a plus so over time it will not crack and get old so what I did was I went online googled um, images for AMC and there were so many different ones that I wanted I was going to put one on the back um, and then the one that spoke to me the most was the one in the very first season and it also was in all of the openings where the walkers hands were coming through the hospital doors and it said dead inside do not open I wanted to put that right here because it was kind of like a meaning to me I'm dead inside do not open you know like sometimes I can get a little bitchy but it just I've, I'd rather have had my most favorite characters on it which is Morgan Rick Daryl Daryl Glenn and Maggie um Maggie's not one of my favorite characters um but the first four of the guys are I'm not really like a huge fan of Maggie's 
Um, but yeah, so I'm loving this shirt. They do come in different styles and cuts. So this one, I got an extra large, and it is a woman's extra large. And I liked it because it has a scoop neck, and I wanted like a darker color for the sleeves and the actual collar part. What's good about these short sleeves is they're not up to here. I like it because it has the band width on it, like the, the trimming, the band, and it's really comfortable. And for an extra large, I'm so happy about the shirt. So you guys got to check them out. Like I said, they do great work. You can pick any picture on the website and you can use it. You can use your logos, whatever have you want to do. But if you're wondering why the color is so dull like this, this is the actual color of the picture from the website and the faces came out so good like a really great picture the only problem i wish it was a little bit longer but it had to do with the actual picture that i chose it was more wider and you get to customize it you get to see it on its actual sh on the actual shirt as you're creating it so really really affordable they do have other products if you don't want to create anything but like i said it's dropshipping.com and they are international but once i ordered this this came in like a week and a half so fast came in like a regular gray clothing bag and I don't remember it saying the name on the actual bag but when I opened it up I knew exactly where it was from so I will post their information for you girls below as for the quality of the t-shirt it's just like regular t-shirts great quality but I love the fact that they did an awesome job with this shirt and you don't feel the actual printing on it. So it's more or less like computerized. It's not like when you go to the mall and that's at those kiosks and they have to smash the heat on. It's not one like peeling ones. This is more or less computerized. It comes out. Awesome job. They did a fantastic job on this shirt. And so now I have two Walking Dead shirts. I'm like a huge, humongous fan. So now on to the next thing that I wanted to share with you girls. And guys, if you want, but mainly females, um, if you can see, um, I have been losing a lot of weight. And I'm going to be honest, the first one to tell you, I have not been working out. I have to get a lot of motivation to work out. So I did go back to taking my hydroxy cut um, pills. You do, um, you are supposed to take four a day, two two um twice a day so two in the morning or two in the afternoon whatever your preference they do have a lot of caffeine in them it does boost your metabolism and it does kind of give you energy so that's one of the things the reasons why i used to like to take those a lot because when i would go to the gym it would give me more energy and i would be able to work out but i haven't really had time to get to the gym so I've been just taking a hydroxy cut. However, I don't take it like they state. Instead of taking four pills a day, I only take two, which is the two in the morning. I don't go to the afternoon and I don't take any in the evening because they do have caffeine in them. And I really don't want to stay up late at night. You can get the ones without the caffeine in it, but I just prefer those because sometimes I need a little boost in the morning because I'm really not a morning person. Though I prefer to be up at least if it's on a weekend, Saturday and Sunday. I like to be up at least no later than 8. 8 30 because I feel like once I sleep past 9 I've lost a lot of time there's a lot of different things that I need to do so I have been losing weight with that and I'm not going to say that I was unhappy with my weight um because I was to a certain extent I did gain a lot of weight um, after I stopped smoking cigarettes and things like that and a lot of it went to my belly area and being that I moved out here in Arizona there are so many different eateries to go to. You can eat somewhere different every day for a year straight. So I was like overwhelmed and just like excited and anxious about all these different places that I wanted to try them all. So I did pack on a lot of the pounds. So within the past two months, I have been losing weight. Um, well, like a month and a half. I've lost like 15, 16 pounds just with the hydroxy cut and that's it. Normally, my daily routine is bringing my kids to school, doing my makeup, doing some videos, watching my grandson, making wigs, editing videos, cooking dinner. So I'm like a really busy person picking my daughter up from work. So I'm like a super busy person. So like I said, I do have to find time to take for myself to go to the gym and really get motivated and work out so anyway like i was saying a lot of the fat went to my belly area which was a downer because i liked the back side of me i liked my butt size and i do like my hips but just the mid area was a lot for me especially because I have like this huge closet and it has loads of clothes in it and a lot of them are like nice fitting clothes so once I put the dresses on it's like oh my god girl no so I did try to go back to a lot of my different body garments I did have another waist I had a couple of waist trainers um that were like latex um one was a vest one was one that wrapped around which was way too small and I did receive another one from a company that was way too big and I just was like you know what I'm just not gonna wear these clothes and I'll 
get over it. So, scrolling through YouTube, I found this company and I was so excited because they have their own videos on YouTube, which was like astonishing. They tell you how to do your measurements for corsets as well as waist trainers. Now, here's the thing. I was going to go with the corset, but it's really good. It's really a good thing that I was able to speak to one of the representatives um, that work for the company because you want to have that perfect figure. Some of us do, some of us don't. It really doesn't matter. But for me, I just wanted something that I would be able to wear my dresses in and be comfortable. So I was going to go with a corset. You know, the kind that you tie in the back from like back in the day. I was going to go with those, but I was so happy that one of the representatives reached out to me via, um, via phone and helped me with my questions before I decided to purchase the corset. So because this company is so helpful, I highly recommend them and their name is orchidcorset.com so like i said i found them on youtube the good thing about them is they help you there have many different videos and it tells you how to measure yourself whether it be for a corset or a waist trainer they also explain the differences between how to use them how to tie them how to measure yourself and so forth and if you have any questions you can actually give them a call and they will guide you through your right measurements and sizing and what you need and what works best for you or your daily living so with their help i decided to go with the waist trainer because like i said i've had others um one of them was so small like i mean i would wear it but you can tell and i was just so uncomfortable in it there was one that was too big and it was like what's even the point that i was i was sent that one from a company i sent it back to them because it was too big and i never heard from them again which was fine you know what i mean i'd rather have gone out and purchased my own which I did and do my own personal review on this so I went with the waist trainer they do have many different styles kinds cloth material fabrics and if you want a corset then there are different styles as well but the main thing to me that was very important is they teach you how to measure yourself in all aspects so that way you get it right and it's not an incorrect fitting because if you get something that's incorrect and the fitting is off you're not going to be comfortable in it which means you're not going to want to wear it and that was the situation with my waist trainers though I did like to wear them but I could only keep them on for like an hour max and that was it but with this one I'm happy to say that I've actually went to the closest notch the second row of um, hooks which when I first got it I you know got to the first hook and that was just like it wasn't a struggle but it was uncomfortable so if you think like you know what i mean you go out and you purchase these waist trainers you're gonna pop them on and you're gonna be you know feeling good or whatever i will be honest to tell you they're very uncomfortable when you first get them because you do need to break them in so when i first got this waist trainer i was so determined to take it off within like 30, 45 minutes, I was like, I'm not wearing this no more. I don't even care. I don't care. But I was, you know what? I stuck it out and I actually broke it in. And now it feels a lot more comfortable. It is more molded to my body shape. So like I said, they're called OrchidCorset.com. And I find them to be like one of the most helpful um, sites when it comes to corsets and waist trainers on the web and of course if you wear a corset it will shape and mold you over time a waist trainer does but not as fast and not as um a corset would so the one that i got was the vedette and i think that's how you pronounce it and i did get it in a black because i wanted more or less a black color i have a size 42 and it's the style 103 so if you think and you see my waistline is snatched because it really is this garment is like super comfortable so prior to putting it on I, I do like to wear like a very lightweight tunic like right here and I'll pull it down a little bit so it doesn't have to be perfectly up here and I'll wear it underneath the waist trainer so it does come to right here and it's very very comfortable now Unfortunately, because I did lose some weight, I did lose some areas of me that I really wish would have stayed. But you know what? It is what it is. There's always surgery. <laughs> but yeah, so um, now like I said, when you first put these on, they are a little challenging because I found like it was kind of difficult when I was hooking the portion down here, which is the bottom portion. As soon as I would hook up, it would undo hook up and it will undo so that was the one challenging thing but it had a lot to do with 
I needed to break it in and wear it for a while. A lot of people like to sleep in them. A lot of people want to train their waist to get a certain way. And that's cool. I would too. Um, but with that, you have to eat right and you do have to exercise. So with that being said, I'm very, very pleased and happy with this actual waist trainer. I did not lose my hips, which you can see. And I'm fine with that because I like them the way they are. I just... Um, sometimes I'm very self-conscious about my belly area because I want to look neat in my clothing. I'm not saying that I want to have a Coke bottle, a body figure. I mean, I'm pretty sure that a lot of us do, but sometimes that's not realistic for a lot of us. And I'm not going to put myself through hell and back just to try to look like the girl from Instagram or what have you. If you can't take me for how I am, then hey. I just want to lessen my belly fat and I really want to look neat in my clothing. But I have lost a lot of belly fat from my hydroxy cut pills and I do wear this regularly, regularly. Some days I will go without wearing it but it will have me looking snatched when I wear it. And let me tell you something, it is so comfortable now. So you do have to give it at least like a week or two um, to break it in. I would say more or less a week. But besides all that, Orchid Corset.com is like one of the best waist trainers and corset sites that I've come across. There are some where they really don't help you. There's no toll-free number. They don't answer your phone calls. They don't answer your emails. And they're really not giving you a guide to sizing, especially a video and how to go about measuring. So that was like really key important. And because of their videos and their help with their representatives online and via phone message and via phone call, I was able to get one that fit perfect. So of course, over time, I will need to go a little bit smaller and I really cannot wait for that but I just got on the second hook so I don't really think that's gonna be anytime soon but I do want to try a corset um, I'm not gonna say tomorrow but within time like I said I'm not going for like the coke bottle figure but I just want to look neat in my clothing you know what I mean neat um I consider myself to be plus size because I am a size 14 and I'm not even considering myself that there are a lot of companies and stores and just sizing in general that they consider anybody over a size 12 to be a plus size that's really not a great word to use plus size it's like basically you're saying I'm plus a size we are human beings and regardless of our size and our body shape and frame we are human beings I don't want to look like the girl next door. I don't want to look like the girl downstairs. I just want to look like me and I want to be comfortable in my own skin and my own clothing. So, like I said, Orchid Corset, they have so many different styles, especially for like corsets where you can actually wear them on the outside of your clothing and it looks so fashionable. But the main key, like I said, is they're so so helpful and that was really really important to me so if I wasn't to have this on I of course would have a belt a bulge and I'm pretty sure you girls want to see how it looks like that so I will show you how I look without it um, so just bear with me and I'm going to show you the after look and this is how I look and I'm not sucking anything in um, it's just really um, loose my shirt my t-shirt is loose feeling as you can see right now and now I'll show you how I look after I'm gonna take it off okay so this is how I look without the waist trainer so it's not on as you can see I still do have my tunic on and my yoga pants which I absolutely love and as you can see, my shirt is a little bit tighter, and of course, you don't see like a shape or a form, and then you can see from the side. So, a lot of my clothing, like my dresses and things, I want to feel very comfortable. Trust me when I tell you, I've lost a lot of weight. It looks a lot bigger. I was a lot more bloated in this area, and it's kind of hard to get rid of the tummy fat, I noticed. So, yeah, I do try to work on that at least. And you can tell the difference now as I'm sitting, you can see like my stomach, of course, but I wanted to keep it off just to show you girls how the item looks. And I'm pretty sure you guys seen a waist trainer before. And so it does have the hooks right here. 
and there are two rows and when I first started I was on this row and now I'm actually on this row which is like absolutely amazing because it does make a difference and you can tell in my clothing that it does make a difference as well so it does have a great stretch to it you do have to break it in some and then you can tell in the back that I have broken it in just from the folds in it now like I said it is really stiff when you first get it but you just have to be patient and just ride it out you know what I mean you don't have to wear it 24 hours like some people do if you don't want to and I'm not one to do that but I just want to look good in my clothing and feel comfortable about myself especially when I'm wearing something now this is how I hook it the best time the best way to hook it would be in front of a mirror so that way you can see what you're doing And there you have it. Now, the reason why I wear, um, you can see the difference now. It's a big difference. Um, the reason why I wear a tunic underneath it is because it does make you sweat, which is cool. But it also makes it a lot more comfortable, too. So, I would suggest getting, like, a really lightweight tunic. Like, one of the kind of, like, lycra material ones. You can get them at, like, Old Navy. Or you can also go to Forever 21. They have those tank tops that are just like this. And they're cotton, but they're $1.90. You could wear those. But yes, so yes, girls. I will post all their information below for you about their corsets and their waist trainers, as well as that. As if you have any questions about their sizing, they do have videos on YouTube, but you also can contact them via email as well as their phone number. And as for the shirt, I'm absolutely in love with it. I will also post this information for you guys below because those of you who want something customized, you may have a family reunion, a birthday party, or your own business, they do drop shipping to customers and such so this is a really great company and I like the quality that it came out so on that note I hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you rate comment subscribe and as always stay diva and divalicious and thumbs this video up and I'll see you on my next video